Again, we're going to go over some features of APRS. We'll go through SMS text messaging and sending an email, along with a little explanation of both. First, we'll start with the SMS text messaging. Um, it is a feature that allows you to send an APRS message from your radio to a cell phone or SMS enabled device. Um, it's Fairly straightforward, not much involved in sending it. Now the system is, while it's very robust and good, it does have some drawbacks in as far as the dependability of it. There are times with the APRS system, you do get packet collision from excessive traffic. A lot of factors can play into whether or not your message goes through. Now, is it a good form of communication? My opinion is yes. There are times where APRS text messaging or SMS messaging is the only form of communication you can access. Um, personally, I have used the SMS text messaging from my radio at the base of Webster Pass where there is no access to repeaters, no cell phone coverage, you have simplex and APRS and that's the extent of your communications out. I, I have, like I said, I have personally used it from there. I have sent text messages to my wife letting her know status report and update. Expected time to be leaving the area. Um, my estimated time of returning home and so it does have a very important aspect of communications now if it if it's something that's important you might want to try sending the message two or three times let people know if you get the message two or three times don't be concerned if it's an emergency I'll will send an emergency message it's just the fact, playing into being able to get the message out and make sure it is received by the recipient of the message. I'll demonstrate on the Yaesu FTM 400 um, rather than any of my other radios. I pre prefer it on this. It's a lot easier doing it from the radio head unit for the simple fact it has the QWERTY keyboard. Um, now it can be done with the Kenwood D710, um, any APRS enabled radio. Just the fact of what's easier to use, um, for me at least. Now you can, like on the Kenwood D710, you have to use the old style nine digit, nine digit character entry, same as the old cell phones where you would have to press a number multiple times to switch characters and where with the Yaesu has the QWERTY keyboard so it's similar to texting from your smartphone or computer. Um, to get started you'll see I already have the APRS turned on on the Yaesu FTM 400. Press the function button and the message menu. Now if you don't see the message menu, press the back or forward button to scroll through the different functions. Once you're in the message, you can press, you'll, it'll bring up a list of all messages you've received either from other APRS users, group messaging, which you'll get into in another video. Um, and press message edit, the call sign that you will send to to send an SMS text message is SMS GTE. It's abbreviated call sign for the SMS gate. Similar similar to the I gate, it just opens sends it to the SMS portion of the APRS network. Edit the call sign to reference SMS GTE. Um, beginning your message to send or the text to send 
you press edit text, enter, always begin with the cell phone number or SMS enabled devices phone number that you want to send the message to. Um, begin that with the ampersand, so it would be at the number you are sending to. Space followed by the text that you want to send. In this case I'll be sending a test SMS via APRS. Once you enter the text, press message TX to transmit. And I'll put my phone up so you can see it come through. You can see if you have good access into an eye gate, it doesn't take very long. Um, I also received an acknowledgement that the yes, the message was received into the iGate system and displayed on my phone. Open up that message. You can see there it is. Um, it shows who it was from with an ampersand test SMS via APRS. To respond, you the first time you respond you have to include the call sign along with the SSID that you are sending the message to. Um, we'll go ahead and enter a reply message. As you can let me back out of the screen, see how I'll go back to the full screen. Um, you can see on my message, I put at the call sign with the SSID received message. Now if I hit send, it will send it. Now the SMS gate will go through locate the call sign via the last iGate digipeter that it transmitted through. You can see them already received the message on my radio. Um, it'll, I have my, this radio set to where it will stay focused or the message will stay popped up until I exit out of it. That'll allow me if I'm out of the vehicle I get back in I automatically know there's a message without having to look for the little message icon on the radio itself. It'll leave it open, gives you the date and time that it was received. Received SMS gate. Now if I need to access that message again, I can go to function, messages. It will show an RX for received messages, TX for messages that I transmitted. Right, open that message, press in, and it will open the message again. That's what there is to sending an SMS text message via APRS. I said it's a very handy tool to know how to do in times where you need to get a message to someone that might not necessarily be a licensed operator, someone that you is a licensed operator but might not be on the radio at the time. You need to get them a message as far as status update, current conditions, pretty much anything. You are limited to the 64 character text message. So be sure to keep it short and to the point of what the message is you need to get out. We'll move on to sending an email via APRS. To begin, similar to sending a SMS text message, message edit, to clear it, to start fresh, press clear all. The edit call sign, instead of SMS gate, you'll enter email with the SSID-2 to get to move the cursor over to the SSID portion of the to address, press
press the right arrow to press enter. This is similar to starting the SMS where you would start with the cell phone number of the person you're sending to. With this you will start with the email address. Enter my email address. space and then the text you want to send. Press enter. Um, you'll see it begins with email address and then the text that I want to send with it. Press message TX. You'll see that attempt one It will, it's the same as the SMS, it will have five attempts to make it. Um, once it receives it into the I-8 system, you will majority of the time receive an acknowledgement back. Um, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't, depending on your sir, the signal you have into the system. Um, it will display how many attempts remaining. And once it is accepted into the system, it will change to the asterisk symbol. move to my email on the computer screen and show you what it looks like when it comes through. You can see I just received the confirmation, the acknowledgement that it was received, email sent to jim at backcountryham.com. Um, that's the acknowledgement you'll receive. I'll move up to the my email. You can see here, email, the ad receiving address, came through with everything, who it was from, test email via APRS. Um, it does enter everything into the subject heading of the email, um, it says do not reply, you can't reply to it, one way messaging. Um, it does give you the option to send your needed message to someone that might not have cell service, but they do have email availability. Um, you can see in the email down here it has the different options to find KA6ETE-9 here. If you click on the link, it will bring up the location, report, everything grid zone that they are in, um, last packet heard where it came from, the GPS coordinates, with different options in there to list packets for between one hour ago and now. Hope this helps give you some more op additional options when out in the backcountry for communicating out if you have an APRS enabled radio. Again, I, as far as sending messages, if you don't have a computer or tablet connected to your radio. I find that the ASU is much easier because of the QWERTY keyboard. It, it's not very hard, just more time consuming with the Kenwood and other radios that do not have the QWERTY key, keyboard. So, 7-3, have a good afternoon and be sure to click the subscribe button and watch for additional videos coming out.